Hello, welcome back. Today is gonna be another Real Housewives video. Um, today I'm gonna be watching Phaedra versus Kenya. Um, this was season five, Kenya's first season when they fell out over the workout DVD. And this was one of the funniest <laughs> um, verbal sparrings I have ever heard. I think everybody just thought this was hilarious. <laughs> So yeah, let's just get into it. Well, the consumers certainly had a lot to say about this dispute. Michelle from Detroit said, Kenya, I don't support copycats. The fact that you stole Phaedra's right. idea is so low class. It's like buying a fake coach bag. <laughs> That's the best she can do? Can we get a Chanel bag, <laughs> Hermes? Uh, first of all, I didn't steal her idea. Uh, she doesn't own the copyright to workout videos. And when, once Were I'm you going to make a workout video before? I was not going to, but it's, it certainly makes sense for me to make a workout video. I'm a beauty brand. I've been on tons of magazines, men's magazines, showing off my body. People know my body. They know what I'm working with. So when I first initially called the distributor to just gauge their interest in a distribution deal for Phaedra, the first question they asked was, are you in it? So to me, that speaks volumes on you know, what I'm capable of doing and why. In fact, I cracked Amazon's top 10 list today and that's something that Ms. Phaedra has not been able to do and I no, also heard in the day. Get your facts so right. So that's the well, highest. Well, has been out for some time. Yes, but and mine has right. been an Amazon never, bestseller three times. Let's it's never correct. been, it's never been. Now, I never watched either one of them. Um, did any of y'all watch the workout videos and actually like do the workout and follow it? If you did, let me know in the comments. But yeah, no, I was never taking either one of them serious as a fitness instructor anyway. At the level that mine has been in. So I haven't seen that yours has outsold her. It has. It's been all over the internet. Andy and has never so liked Kenya. Uh, uh, that is without me. Yeah, it's some urban bloggers, darling. No, it's not an urban <laughs> blogger. Trust me, you can check Amazon.com. No, that's well, all day Well, Amazon.com has said that mine is a bestseller three times. I'm well, selling mine is Jillian a, Michaels. Selling because more I'm like, oh, you wow. I'm trying so to compete with me. Great I'm trying to compete with someone that's even better than I am. But yeah. you're, you know, just obviously competing with me. No, you're that's obviously wrong. trying to compete with somebody with a better body than you. Phaedra, how do you feel about Kenya saying your body wasn't in the right shape to make a fitness video? You know video? what? It's strange to me because she was surely on my bandwagon when uh, she wanted to produce the video. And for her to say she has such a wonderful distribution deal, but hers is in the same place as mine. Amazon. Well, let me explain that for you. <laughs> First of all, my distribution deal is with the same people who distributed Bethany Frankel's videos. Yeah, and it's one some of the small top, companies. Top 10. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see, because when you were with me, you said, oh, I can put you here and there, and you couldn't even well, put you know, yourself I'm there, a good, I'm a good producer, mm. and I said things to make you feel better about the product that you were trying to shove down the consumer's throat. Well, I wasn't shoving it, honey. Unlike you, I have all real reviews. All you have papers. reviews from your quacky fans. Like that. Well, who are your reviews yeah, from? Who are your reviews from? Said, I, you have actually, I have a production, uh, a full production. And most of them are in the ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that's you on your computer all, all really? night. No, it's just so like Google was. took your like, fake one down and noted really? on there. Fake reviews being submitted. Oh, wow. fake reviews the being submitted. DVD being the truth is yeah. the numbers speak for themselves. Yeah, in the words of Whitney Houston. The truth you know, is the numbers speak for themselves. No, this was funny. Phaedra definitely got her together here. Kenya, you stole the idea. It, it does not matter if you had a deal on the table and you felt like she should have took the deal that you offered her, you stole the idea. You had no intentions on doing a workout video until you heard that Phaedra was doing workout videos. So therefore you copy it. Whether she came up with the idea of workout videos or not, you weren't thinking about it until she was thinking about it. Therefore you copied the idea. And that's really annoying to have somebody copying you. Not only are you trying to copy me, but you're trying to compete and outdo me. You're trying to do me better than me. But to be honest, I don't think either one of these workout videos went anywhere, so. Uh, <laughs> twirl on that. Yes, I will twirl on that. Just give me a minute, okay? Chad, yeah, come on. Chad, <laughs> yeah, come on. reviewed both of your videos, and they said, for fitness, they gave Kenya's a little better marks, but they said Phaedra's was more entertaining. 
Oh, yeah, it's sure. a gimmick. It's silly. You know, she's ro roaming around and all she can talk about is her booty. She's obviously what are you talking about? overweight to be doing a fitness video. Am I video. overweight, really? You are 5'2". Tell everybody that's seen my body. And I'm 5'10". Am I am weigh 145. You're overweight. Your BMI really? is not really? what it should be. Really? Oh, so you're a doctor now? You're a doctor. And honey, let me tell you something. Why sell a fitness video? Yeah, I have to laugh at you. It hasn't worked on you. Yeah, well, everything on you. Tell you something about that. You know what's real about me, Phaedra? What's it's real my about heart. You? I don't give a yeah. you think that every girl yeah. yeah. on the side is made in Mexico. Mexico. Let me tell you. Yeah, so that was part one. I think Kenya wanted, um, she wanted like a percentage of the gross sales or the back end. I don't even know what that means. But I don't know. I don't think Phaedra was trying to make her work for free. They just had um, differences on how she should be paid. She wasn't trying to get her to do the work for free. But yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about that. Leave your comments down below and I will see you guys in part two. Bye.